Hello. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Welcome to the the O'Reilly Factor. <laughs> I'm Bill O'Reilly. Why did you start it? Because that's a Bill O'Reilly thing, and I just thought, what a fucking asshole. Yeah. And so that's. <laughs> That's how we started it. <laughs> Why did Doss start the stream that way? I'm just asking questions. Oh my gosh. You're here with Tucker Carlson and Bill, Bill O'Reilly. The worst combination. <laughs> so. That's terrible. Dude just 100% That's... first this time. Hi, dude. Nailed it. Stuck uh, the landing. Somehow. I love it. Hi, dude. Yeah. Time to relax now. After the literal shit you've had to go through. He had to deal with some shit. It wasn't figurative. And it's like the layers of it's shit in vomit because the dog ate the shit. Oh, I didn't know about the vomit. Yeah, nope. It was the which dog? I assume it was not Levi. Probably the little one. It's, yeah. Ate cat turds from the litter box, I'm assuming, and then vomited them on his upholstery on his couch. Oh, shit. So not the best. That's not bad. the best evening so far, but it's about to get better. Yeah. Now that you're here, so. I don't so. know if the stream is going to be good, I guess. We're, yeah, we're going to try, because we have to do our best for Dooge. He says barking rat ate the poop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think that would be Levi. No, Levi's a good puppy. Didn't seem like a Levi thing. He'd rather have some ice. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. Oh, and there's Kate. Yay. She She says, yay, I mean, howdy, y'all. And I just want to say to Dooge, man, like, <laughs> I really, 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 really do sympathize with the situation that you dealt with, with cl cleaning up the pet mess, because I would say the angriest Snoo has ever seen me oh, yeah. was after one of the hundreds of examples of that when our dogs were getting old. And it was just like the third or fourth time that day that I had to clean up something so fucking disgusting on unvarnished wooden floors. So it wasn't even going to be clean, really, when I was done. It would just be not awful. And, and I, I just hit my fucking point. Like, I, I, I was livid. He seriously did. That yeah. is like, there is not a level above that. Yeah, that is the angriest Snoo has ever seen me. Because I just, it had gone on for so long, uh, so many times a day, and, and I just, I, I was ready to stab somebody. Yeah. So, <laughs> dude says, at least there was no carpet when our dogs were puking and shitting everywhere. True, but even worse, because you can replace carpet. With the wood flooring that's not even finished. You yeah. You can't fix that. It would get in the cracks between the slats, and then it just it just lived there. We had to put tarps down. There we, was no other way. We did. We, we had tarps in that entire room. We it had to walk over those for more than a year. But, um, yeah. So anyway, man, we, we do feel for you. And we're glad you're here, because now lighter times, and we're going to stop talking about this. Yeah, let's go ahead and <laughs> not talk about puke and shit. I'm, I'm going to hug Snoo just to make everyone feel better. You, you can enjoy that. We're hugging. We are hugging. Those are some hugs. Snoo's clean, too. Yeah, he I got clean. He took a shower. <laughs> How do you have the same shirt on? This is not the same shirt. This is green. The other one was red. Oh, okay. Is it on backwards? No. Okay. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Snoo and Dot Live. Hi, let, hello. I'm clean. Let me tag this before we get too much <laughs> farther. <laughs> Talking about pet mess. Uh, and so forth. Uh, this is Snoo and Da Live. We're doing part two in the series of Snoo playing Shovel Knight. Snoo Knight. Yeah, so it's going to be chill. Just hanging out with the good folks. <laughs> and Kate said, <laughs> clarifies that uh, the yay was for y'all going live, not for pet messes <laughs> or Dooge's various challenges that he has to overcome. So, yes, I assume he uh, knew that, but thank you for clarification. I forgot that I have to play this on the DA profile on the Switch. Why is that? Because my main profile is on the account I usually have on here. And why does that matter? Because it'll make the progress different. 
Okay. Because, you know, we're snuzzle. We don't want to disrupt that. He's going to play on the DAW profile that is not in any way affiliated with DAW. Yeah, I made the account because I needed a different one. Uh -huh. Different stuff. And I will never play this game. <laughs> but uh, this is the DAW profile. Yeah, this is his, you know. <laughs> I feel a sense of ownership over this profile <laughs> that is undoubtedly misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it from you or something. We're, we're going to make new lore. You did. You, you've you abused my credentials <laughs> as a player of Shovel Knight. You know, the only thing you're known for. Yeah, for which I will never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you've ever done in life is played this game. Exactly. And uh, meantime, Kate says we must continue the story of Snuzzle. Oh, I agree with that. Snuzzle. There's no downside to that. Once you go snuzzle, you can't go unsnuzzle. <laughs> I'll assume that's correct. <laughs> God damn it. So I've played a little bit of Rocket League with both Juge and Kate in the past day or two. Oh, how was that? Uh, it was pretty cool. Like, it was challenging, but uh, there were also uh, victories, major and minor, so. As there always are. Yeah. <laughs> but in my final game last night, um, Kate scored the, the, the winning goal. Kate! Yeah, we had several losses before that, but then... We rallied, and I had a really good game with five goals, but we still lost, like, six to five. Uh. And then uh, Kate and I uh, pooled our resources and each scored a goal, and I think she had, like, an assist and a save, too, and we won, like, two to nothing against the same people. Kate's on fucking fire. Yeah, she is. Kate's fire, <laughs> just, just generally. She's fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like how people describe music. It's what the kids say. Except, you know. If you don't know what kids say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, fellow YOLO swags? <laughs> how, how is it going, yeet? Let's see. Kate says, I, despite being told by Rocket League that I am level 30, have not really improved. <laughs> The winning goal was very satisfying, though. Yeah, you were you were killing it. There's one thing about that game that always confused me, in that it never rewarded you for doing like big accomplishments, but it rewarded you for doing everything else, like every little thing. Like you scratched your nose, thirty points. So, like, what's the big thing that you think you don't get rewarded for? Saves usually. It, oh, it always rewards yeah, goals. Yeah, yeah, they, they screw you on that. A lot of time they'll give you a cleared the ball instead of uh, a save when it was a save. Oh, it's it's a ball clear, totally. Yeah, that, It's not you did cool shit or anything. That is a little annoying. Obviously, they're more accurate with goals because those are pretty definitive. Like, the, yeah. you can't mistake whether or not someone scored a goal, but... It's open to interpretation whether you got a save, an epic save, a cleared the ball, or whatever. Uh, they often screw you on uh, centering the ball, too, and sometimes on assists. Yeah, it's just, it's not very consistent. Yeah, anything, anything that's open to interpretation, they are more likely to get it wrong. But I still interpretation as in, I got that goal. But also, like, you know... I still get a lot of both uh, centers, assists, saves, probably more so than goals. Yeah, because th those are just more common shots to make. I don't know. I just feel like I'm better at that. Honestly, I, I feel like I've gotten worse at actually scoring, and I've gotten a lot better at setting other people up to look good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of being like the... I don't know, the bassist in a band or something. You let everyone else shine, but you bring the back. Yeah, or the... maybe like the rhythm guitarist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you let everyone else shine. Yeah. You, you give a, a back uh, melody for the lead guitarist to be like, look at me doing stuff. <laughs> I'm cool and stuff. I can play <laughs> the same two notes over and over again. Right. Mommy, love me. Ho, 
hug me, Daddy Donald. <laughs> I want a band with all of the Trump kids in them. I will never hug you. It is a sign of weakness. I want to instill that in you so you will not hug your own children. <laughs> and another generation of monsters is spawned. <laughs> so <laughs> He knows they're monsters. <laughs> he probably doesn't. Well, I don't know. No, I know. I get, yeah. your, I get your joke. But honestly, he probably does not understand how defective he is. Well, of course he doesn't. And we got a wheeze out of Kate. Because she's not an admirer of... of uh, Donnie dipshit. Oh, boy. And Kate says, previously to that, uh, when people ask me how I am, I'm going to say, fire, from here on out. <laughs> you should. Because you're fire. <laughs> am I right, Snoo? That's the, that's the sound fire It's his fire sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fire sound effect. <laughs> it's a work in progress. We're going to get there. <laughs> I got it off of Shutterstock. <laughs> that was either fire or a light breeze. This <laughs> is Kate's one of those. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, so I'll share the weather report here in, in Northeast Ohio. Yes. With anyone who happens to be in Texas. Uh, I won't judge who that might be. <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, we got uh, we got what was called a uh, bomb cyclone the other oh, day. Oh, yeah. And, and it was supposed to yield a bunch of snow, which it, it's, you know, it was like three or four inches. But um, then, like, within two days, it was all melted off. As of today, like, I looked out the window in the backyard was, like, grass again. So I was very happy about that. How about you, Snoo? I don't go outside. <laughs> That's true. Snoo is an elderly shut-in. I have always been an elderly shut-in. He gets all of his information from Fox News. Oh, my... No! <laughs> and Kate had said, If I were a dipshit admirer, I don't know I'd hang out here quite as much. I imagine... That would have been put to a stop a while ago. Also, wheeze, wheeze, which is a bonus wheeze. That was after the first wheeze. Wow, what so. a prize. And she says it's okay to judge Texans. Yeah, in most cases. I'm not shy about doing that. Or positively or negatively. Many states. Yeah, like I, I respect the good and the bad to be found there. If there's good to be found there, it's acknowledged. But if there's a lot of bad to be found there, it needs to be called out. And there's both. It, yeah, and it gets balanced. God damn it. Why can't Texas <laughs> just be Austin State? It's an Austin State? Yes, the state of Austin. Then we're Christopher Columbus Town. Wow. I guess. I don't know. Hmm. I feel like that's an improvement for Texas and a downgrade for Ohio. It totally is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In every single conceivable way. I would rather Ohio be Austin State Junior than Columbus State. I, yeah. Because not a good fella, that, that Chris Columbus. If you didn't know. Not the one who makes the... the Home Alone movies. And also, didn't he make, like, DC Comics movies? Uh, if he did, I don't remember. Oh. I feel like he did, but I could be wrong. I am not a comics expert. <laughs> and I'm clearly not. I am fine with that. <laughs> You're totally not wearing your cool Batman shirt right now. And Kate says, I would love it if Texas were just an extension of Austin instead of what it is. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Yep, I don't blame you. Speaking of Texas or places like Texas, I don't know that it was Texas. I don't recall off the top of my head. 
some regressive uh, state recently passed a law uh, in addition to like you can't have an abortion here but also the new law is you can't go to another state and get an abortion yeah, okay yeah that's, that's really stupid which is just you do not have that authority you know no you don't <laughs> to determine what happens in a different different ju jurisdiction Jurisdiction. I'm saying it correctly this time. Juris sounds like the prefix to a skin disease. And I guarantee whoever was involved in passing that law thinks they're against tyranny. Oh, because they totally think they are. Yeah. They think they're doing a service but to they, every woman out there that they've never met. But they would like to pass laws that apply to other states. That's quite something. They, they know what a vagina looks like. <laughs> Snoo almost made me do a spit take. Thanks a lot, Snoo. It's kind of a new one. <laughs> it's not my typical range of things. Say it again. <laughs> he totally knows what a vagina looks like. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that calls to mind a story, but I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it light for Dooch, for for, a, for Dooch's sake. From a long, long time ago. He's had a rough night. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna focus on all of the negative aspects that exist in our society. So yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> I love how that just came to be something that made you think of so much. And almost caused a spit take. Y yeah. I've never done that before. Congratulations. And you've never done that to me before. <laughs> at least on stream. So. I think I have, but... Maybe I, not on stream. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know. know. You don't usually have a beverage. I... Yeah. So... That's, a, that's part of it. A spit take is hard to accomplish. <laughs> when no spitting... Is possible. Is taking place. Yes. Meantime, Kate said... How would they even enforce that? That's Bible level stupid. Yes, it is. And 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 yeah, I think that's the one though where if you if you do sue a person in your state for going and, and I'm still talking about this, but I have to now. Uh, if someone from your state goes to another state to get an abortion, you get a ten thousand dollar bounty. Just for suing them. Ten thousand. Yep. Yep. That's so. Wow. And and I guess basically the point of the law is to give legal standing to people who do not, by precedent, have any standing whatsoever to sue. Which should be struck down by the courts, but I guess we'll fucking see. Really depends. Yeah. Really depends on the kind of people just in that case. Look at you killing squids or whatever they are. Yeah, what a time to be alive and talk about abortion issues while shoveling some fucking undersea creatures. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and, and Kate declares, this is a historic stream. I agree. Our grandchildren will celebrate this stream. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look at it and see it as their own Bible. Little little future Snoo Jr. will be like, that was amazing. <laughs> da and, and you'll be da by then. Yeah, yeah. And da. and he'll be like, Granda, you were pretty cool too. <laughs> For a geezer. Whatever, you were kinda there. Yeah. You, you didn't know, do much. Yeah, you know who's awesome though? My dad, Snoo. <laughs> <laughs> he actually made jokes while you kinda sat in the corner. He's the new da. <laughs> You've been replaced. The new da. <laughs> Timmy, it's da 2.0. Aren't you proud? Yeah. Your old man. I'm fine with being da 1.0. You can, I, yeah. You can become Da 2.0 when you're ready. I don't technically see your dad as Da 1.0, because that's not him. Or Da 0.0. Yeah, it's like the, he's not in the Da uh, uh, cinematic universe. 
Yeah, he's not part of the lore. No, he isn't. And, and I believe Kate can confirm that because she is the lore keeper of the Snu and Da experience. If we've said stuff on Snu and Da, she probably knows about it. As well as anyone, if not better. <laughs> better than us. Yes. In, better, better than me, at least. In many instances. Like, when we have to edit stuff for a, a Best Moments comp, which we'll probably get to at some point. I still need you to help me with final edits on um, the songs that I've compiled so far from our streams. Uh, just to what put, specifically? Just to put some fancy final touches on it. All, all of the, the tracks are ready. Okay. And they just need to be put together in a video. That's a good sign, then. Uh, dude says, sorry guys, I had to run to the other room. And that's not a problem. Yeah, it's not. As long as there wasn't puke or crap or a combination of both involved. But we're glad you're back. Yeah. Welcome back to Shoveling Snow. And Kate says, the Da Cinematic Universe now exists. <laughs> and I'm glad it exists in this community. I don't trust it elsewhere. I don't either. I cinematic universe universes that exist in other places don't make sense. I don't trust anything but QAnon. <laughs> because you know, the hallmark of a really reliable source is someone you don't know. Yeah, anonymity. That you can't check. It's <laughs> being anonymous is in the name of QAnon. It's just like <laughs> Hey, some fucker you don't know says this bullshit. <laughs> Listen to him. And you're like, well, that's got to be true. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm being deceived here. And Dude agrees. He says Q is true. Uh, with a U. Yeah, and that could be a bumper sticker. Kate says cackle. This <laughs> <laughs> is her first cackle. Hooray. Oh, fuck. Well, now we have to burn her as a witch, though. Uh, it's not our fault, Kate. <laughs> You've done this to yourself. <laughs> I, like, when I call you, I always see your magic broom in the background. Yeah. It, it's always so well-designed, but the only reason it looks that good is because you're a witch. I just watched, uh, like, a the making of The Wizard of Oz last night. Wow. And I feel terrible for Margaret, I think it was Hamilton, Margaret somebody, who played the Wicked Witch of the West. And she got, like, injured in the making of that when she was supposed to drop through a trap door that was then going to shoot out fire. And they shut the fire out too soon. Ugh. And her green makeup was copper-based, so it was metallic, mm. and it picked up the heat from the flash explosion and like could have permanently disfigured her uh, but the makeup people came over and wiped off the copper from her face that was very heated as soon as possible but also the Tin Man was originally supposed to be played by Buddy Epson who was uh, known for Jed Clampett fame on the Beverly Hillbillies and since the Tin Man is also metallic col colored, uh, but with a silver tone, they were actually using powdered silver. Oh, no. And it got in his lungs, and he was in the hospital for six weeks, and then ended up getting replaced for that part because he was so injured. Mm. So, like, wow, things were pretty slipshod back in the day. <sighs> Fuck the 30s, man. Yeah. That uh, meant, like... Not, not a good time to be an actor or an actress. Yeah. Probably they, an actress even more. <laughs> they probably still used lead paint back then. They did a number of unsafe things. Yeah. Dude says that's metal. <laughs> and Kate says, shit, I outed myself. <laughs> and also, all right, what do I need to do now? Jump in the river? <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I float, I burn? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Witch. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, you know, you get to play Quidditch. Yeah. That's, that's a... got to count for something. You can hang out with Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Maybe that's desirable. I, for some people. <laughs> but 
But yes, Dooge is right. That is metal. Which is a bad thing. When it becomes be put in your body. When it's on your face and it's become superheated. So yeah. yeah, that's not ideal. So let's see, yeah, they, they started off with Buddy Ebsen, Jed Clampett, as the Tin Man, using the silver compound the silver dust. And then when they switched to the other guy whose name escapes me at the moment, it was a different compound, and I'm trying to remember what it was. But I can't, so <laughs> screw Fuck it. Screw you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'll never know. And Kate says Quidditch is cool. <laughs> <laughs> if by cool, you mean like AV club cool, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's got novelty, maybe. It's cool to you if you're in it. Yeah, but not to anyone else watching it, because right. the production quality is so fucking bad. No one externally. <laughs> So, anybody riding a marriage donkey tonight? I'm just uh, just asking. <laughs> any uh, any doors out there? We didn't even check the Reddit. We did not, but there was there. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. Probably not. That's more or less dead, sadly, unless Kate alerts us that she posted. <laughs> yeah, she posted there. <laughs> Because no one is more dedicated or old reliable than Kate. Oh. So is that oh. like a, a, what do they call it, a lantern fish? It's, yeah. Yeah. It's like, like one of those piranha things that have a Creepy, deep, super deep sea fish. Bioluminescence. That are horrifying, yeah. Oh, angler fish is what that's called. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Eels alive. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Eels alive. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick on Dooge's couch because <laughs> I just ate a litter box full of cat turds. And oh. I'm telling you, that's got to go somewhere. Oh, that's <laughs> sure. Dude, you cool with that? <laughs> I suspect not. But hopefully we can add some levity to the experience. And Kate says, me, me, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I was going to post a Reddit, but I was in a bit of a funk today and didn't want to put funks on the Reddit. Everything is fine, just an off day. Hey, I hear you. Yeah, no obligation to post to the Reddit, and I'm sorry you were having a funk day, but hopefully it will take an upswing here. And dude says, how foul, which is 100% accurate. So where are we in old shovel night here, Snoo? Somewhere. I am barely keeping track. What? I just know I'm making progress. Did you just pick up a roasted turkey? Yeah, we, we talked about that last episode. You found the sand in the turkey. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, where else would you find one? In a rock. In a slightly bigger mound of sand. Oh. And what is this item over here? That's a checkpoint. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 all wizardy and shit, if that's how you describe things. It looks like uh, a primitive incandescent bulb. It, yeah, it almost looks like one of those lanterns that we saw on Technology Connections that one time. Oh, yeah. Which, you know, super fucking fascinating, but, you know, they're useless. Yeah, you can choose between kerosene and white gas. And both suck. Both of which are unsafe to use in your home, although many people use them that way for power outages. For some reason. Yeah, for power outages, but no, like, unless you're going to open your fucking windows, all of them, very, very bad idea. So, dude, uh, the, the the little rat ate the turds and puked him up. But how's Levi the good dog? Yeah, how's the good one doing? Yeah. <laughs> the not shitty one. What's new with him? 
And why are big dogs always so much cooler than little dogs? Because you can hug them. They just always are, yeah, Little though. dogs fucking suck. Little dogs That's are a like, nightmare. Yeah, if you have a little dog, uh, it sucks. It doesn't matter how much the dog loves you, it sucks. Little dogs have little man syndrome. Always. They want to fight you, even though they can't win. <laughs> and Levi's like, I could tear your throat out, but... Let's I'm be nice. friends. Let's be friends and play ball. <laughs> Throw me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Ice. Ice. <laughs> right. It's just that's. It's a lot like people. I could smoke weed with that dog in a back alley. In all fairness, though, Snoo could smoke weed with anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just just ask him. Except little dogs. <laughs> I w I will never. He does draw the line there. He does. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Also, with ducks who don't like peas. Yes. <laughs> if I put weed in the peas, they also don't like that. Well, you know, if you gave the ducks some weed in advance, they would be even hungrier for the peas. Yeah, you get the munchies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so imagine ducks eating peas even faster. <laughs> it's hard to conceive. No, that would be speed or something. <laughs> weed would make you eat those slower. Wow. No, because you'd be hungrier. You'd have the munchies. I mean, yeah, but how fast could you realistically go? Faster. <laughs> That's how fast. <laughs> Let's give it a given amount. Uh, faster. Yep. Fuck. Uh, do you have any experiences with drugs of any kind? I know you've lived a long time. No. Oh. I'm just a person... I, I can't tell if I'm surprised by that. I'm a suburban dad. I'm boring. I just, like, Kate's tried edibles before. She's told me about that. Or I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Probably she didn't tell you that on stream. I No, she didn't. So, <laughs> so uh... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kate says, Duck Drugs is a future LLC of mine. <laughs> Yeah, because ducks don't eat peas fast enough yet. But we're working on the technology. <laughs> it's going to come out in like 10 years. We're not ready for it yet. There will be super mecha ducks. <laughs> mecha ducks. Who can eat a ton of peas in less than four hours. Wonder ducks, form of pea eater. <laughs> yes. Finally, finally, this this game is taking a million years to do anything in. I barely noticed. I <laughs> <laughs> so it's like yeah, I can tell. I appreciate your efforts, though. I, I can tell that you're kind of just looking at the people. Yeah, I mean, like this is a chill stream. You're just a knight with a shovel. Yeah, who has like Viking horns for some reason. And a shovel. It, yeah, and a shovel, which was you know the uh, weapon of choice for knights. Back in the ye ages yes. of middle old. Dooge points out that ducks are assholes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they, they're like huge assholes. I think you told the on stream one time about how you cursed out a duck. Oh, I did. Because yeah. um, I cursed out several <laughs> ducks at the local <laughs> park where, where I went as a child and I took Snoo when he was a child. <laughs> Um, and there was a duck gang rape going on. <laughs> yeah. And, like, that's not an exaggeration. That's Completely. a common it's a common thing uh, that apparently happens in duck culture. But I was like, duck culture. not on my watch. <laughs> 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 and so I, I, like, sort of gently kicked the currently raping duck off of the being raped female duck. And I admonished the raping duck to fuck off. <laughs> which my wife thought was hilarious. <laughs> and I thought was hilarious. Right, but also rape averted. So, <laughs> you know. It's like an achievement in a video game. Congratulations, I, yeah. rape averted. <laughs> You've unlocked extra something. You know? You've unlocked extra good person points. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take it. 
It's like Rocket League points almost. Yeah. You get a rare item. <laughs> um, rape preventing <laughs> chastity belt for a duck. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> You get a blueprint of the words not rape as a wallpaper on your car. No, you get an NFT that's against rape. Oh, my. <laughs> and how is it against rape? It just says, like, rape is bad. <laughs> and it costs, like, $300,000. <laughs> but then you own it. It's yours. Yeah, you own it. You get to tell other people that rape is bad by not setting an example. <laughs> That and, is great. And Dooge points out that geese are worse, which 100%, man. I, Yeah, they bite. I got bit by a goose at um, my cousin's farm when I was a kid. Like, we had a family reunion, and we all went to that relative's house. And, like, me and my brother were fishing, which I don't like fishing, but he does. So that's what we were doing at the time. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we got attacked by the geese. And, and they bit, and it was unpleasant. So. <laughs> That's the end of that story. Any geese who are listening? Fuck off. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck. I'm watching you. <laughs> and revenge is a dish best served cold. I, I'm coming for you, geese. <laughs> Do you value your teeth? Do They're you... geese. They don't have teeth. Geese have teeth? <laughs> they don't have teeth. I've seen geese with teeth. They have beaks. They have fucking... They, they have terrible biting teeth. Beaks are inherently at odds with teeth. How? Are they... Like, if you've ever been bitten by both, how do you compare that? I don't know. Dogs hurt more because they have teeth, but... Geese are just so unexpected as an adversary unexpected. that you're just like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? I'm being attacked by a 15 pound bird. Like, I don't know how to react to this. I was never prepared. That's why I'm telling you, Snoo. Yeah. So you'll know. Like, yeah, I'll know for future. Geese are not friendly. Um, let's see here. Kate says... Can I get some Viking horns as an accessory for my marriage donkey? <laughs> I certainly hope so. That's that has to be an unlockable. It yes, it certainly In like should the Sims be. Or something. And Dude says duck genitals are whack. <laughs> I will trust Dooge's expertise in that field. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, like, they're fucking corkscrews, and they, like, they wind out, and they're, like, 27 feet long. But I'll tell you what. Like, anytime <laughs> someone asks me a question about duck genitals, <laughs> I'm like, hit up Dooge on that. Like, <laughs> no one knows better. <laughs> that, y yeah. Yeah, Dooge, you're, you're going to get a lot of calls in the next week. <laughs> Be prepared. And Kate says, we've unlocked extra awesome. Yeah. I love it. And finally, Dooge says, the great toothed goose. Yeah, it's, it's, Snoo doesn't know that's not a thing. It's fine. <laughs> I've he, seen geese with teeth. He just turned 15. He'll <laughs> learn. I swear. He'll learn more data as time goes by. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they exist. It's like the fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger thing. What is that? But I'm right. The Arnold oh, God. Yeah. Where you think he looks like Mick Jagger. Because he does. Not in any way. <laughs> no, just... Honestly, I have literally known you from the first moment of your life. Yeah. You have never yeah. been more wrong about <laughs> anything than Arnold Schwarzenegger and Mick Jagger looking similar. I <laughs> just, like... I can catalog all of the things you've ever been wrong about. <laughs> You've never been more wrong than that. <laughs> so. But I'm right. <laughs> oh, my God. Kate, that's your assignment for tomorrow if you don't have shit that you have to do from school. Find something you're more wrong about? No, no, no. Find that <laughs> clip where I was talking about that because I want to watch that again. I like my idea better. She should find something that you're more wrong about. I mean, sure, yeah, she should do that as well, but I also want her to find that clip, which she should know where it is. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure. Kate has a life. She, yeah, she has a life, but she also does a lot of that a lot of the time. That's true. Like, that's her, that's her free time a lot. I still need to go through, um... The Fight Night Round 3 series. Um, 
at least the ones that are not posted on YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot. For copyright strikes or whatever the hell happened there. We have like four that are not up. Yeah, and they were all stricken. They were all uploaded, but got copyright strikes for whatever non-legitimate reasons. But I still need to find uh, your performance of My Dad's a Hero to Me. Which is in there. Yeah, to include in the compilation uh, that we're going to put together and you can help me finalize. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to listen to... Kate pointed out that, like, it is not among the ones that are on YouTube. So I just need to look at the original source files uh, for anything that got stricken. So... I will do that, but any help by anyone would be appreciated as well. So, Snoo. I, well, I don't have access to the files. Maybe Kate, but I'm not trying to assign her things. <laughs> Dude says, I'm with Snoo. Geese have tea. Yeah, fucking, yeah. All right, don't, en <laughs> don't encourage him, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm right. <laughs> dude is right. Dude, my man. All right, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna ruin this for everyone, and Google it. That is, yes, please do so that so I can be right. You will not be. I, you will be sorely mistaken as a father. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Kate says the great Meg Jack <clears throat> debate stream. Totally, yeah. Okay. Oh, where did? It, God damn it! I just oh, had it. What? It just went away. All right. Google says. <laughs> The short answer to this question is that bold font, no, geese do not have teeth. Dude, what do you mean? At least by any normal definition. <laughs> Two, true teeth are made from a, a protective outer coating called enamel. That's not They are then attached to the jaw or the inner mouth via deep roots. That's, but that's not Geese, teeth. geese do not have teeth. <laughs> no. I am sorry. <laughs> I, I am <laughs> sorry. I am sorry for your ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'm sorry you're so stupid. We'll work on it. No! Yeah. No. <laughs> I swear I'm right. <laughs> well, you and Google are at odds. D dude, dude, can help me back up my point. He said they do have teeth, but he's just volunteering to be wrong as well. So. No, he's volunteering to be. <laughs> astronomically more right than you have been in the past five minutes. Kate says, I only know that I have teeth. <laughs> I'm not even going to assume that. Yeah, I think you don't have enamel and they're not connected by roots. Because you're from Texas. So there, it's not like there's, you know, single payer health care there or anywhere else. But I don't know. Um, Dude says, looks like a shark's mouth. Uh, yeah, I recall that, but that doesn't mean they have teeth. But they do. That is like, if that, I don't know, I consider that teeth, and if it's not, then Google's fucking wrong. Uh, sure. Anti-science new has <laughs> spoken. <laughs> I get my sources from gun.truth.org. <laughs> Where everything is right. And for patriotism. Yeah, I mean, okay, so uh, in regard to Dooge's comment, yes, they do have serrated things in their mouth, but are not... Fucking I told you. ...are not teeth. Those are teeth. No. Yes, they are. It, I've already read you the thing. <laughs> but they have teeth. <laughs> and Dooge says... You were bitten by a goose. How do you not know this? It hurt, but that doesn't mean they have teeth. <laughs> you could feel the indistinguishable marks. What? <laughs> that was word salad. <laughs> anyway, dude says it's. <laughs> so dude says though, oh. it's definitely not a friendly looking mouth hole. <laughs> of course not. That is correct. No mouth outside of a human mouth is really a friendly looking mouth hole. Yeah, I mean like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna clue you in on what I might consider a friendly-looking mouth hole. Oh. 
<laughs> That's confidential. There are situations where that could be accurate. <laughs> but they're not appropriate for a stream with my son. <laughs> it's okay, I've already talked about vaginas. But I'm sure that I have at some point in my life looked at a mouth and thought, that's a friendly looking <laughs> mouth hole. <laughs> I'd like to get to know it better. <laughs> I need examples now. You've intrigued me way too much. NC-17, my friend. Um, I'm 15, which means I'm older than you. So he's working on goose teeth. He's working on math. <laughs> and I'm working on everything. Chronology, but we'll get there. <laughs> So much to cover. <laughs> so let's see. Caden said that's fair. No one should take a Texan at their word if they say they have teeth or know a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And dude says duck mouth is far less terrifying. Yeah, it's easier to prevent the gang rapes with ducks <laughs> than geese. You you yeah. get some pushback from the geese. <laughs> And we had also gotten a wheeze out of Kate, which is nice. Always appreciated. I'm going to consider that a, a combination wheeze cackle. Yes, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. I'll just interpret it that way, whether or not it's justified. <laughs> uh, how many other things do I have to work on? Oh, <laughs> so many, all of which will be revealed on stream oh, in great. front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> on weekends he also goes to penis therapy which is just to reshape it wow he's got he's he's misshapen oh uh, what was the uh your mom was just talking recently about the the condition where you're weird i don't want my penis and my mom in the same sentence that's fair <laughs> moving along <laughs> and kate says wackle which is a, wackle. is a new thing. Wackle, 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 wackle. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound. Wackle, 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 wackle. Yeah, it's like cross promotion between wheeze and cackle. Oh, cross promotion. They're both benefiting. Where, where does Best Buy come in? Uh, Microsoft is involved somewhere, probably. Uh, that's not Best Buy. Yeah, no, it's Micro Center. I... And Jewish space lasers. You said Microsoft. Jewish space lasers. I mean, yeah, they do control the weather. And wackle, somehow. Wackle. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Kate, we know why Dude had a bit of a rough evening. And we've covered that. Yeah. And I'm sure he's ready to move on. Yeah, we don't need to talk um, about it much more. Why did you have an off day? Yeah. What happened just, with you? Let's just go through everyone's misery today. Well, well we're doing group therapy here. <laughs> we're talking about my problems. We're talking about everyone else's. By the way, this is uh, $90 an hour. So <laughs> just put your uh, credit card information into chat. Yeah, put, put <laughs> your social security number in full effect. What the fuck are you supposed to do? We're like, uh, you know, kind of a community or something. I uh, yeah. I wonder why we feel that way. I feel like we could be the friends from Friends, <laughs> except none of us can afford a New York City apartment. And none of us are gonna have random sex. That like an apartment that's larger than our house. E yeah, and somehow they can still afford it in despite none of them having good jobs. Yeah, in Manhattan, and like one of them is a barista and. I don't even know what Chandler did and some fucking thing. Joey was an unemployed actor. What was his source of income in the first place? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's impossible. What is buying that apartment? Oh yes, renting it. Like the 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 reason I remember that is because um, I've been rewatching The Good Place with mommy recently. Yeah, how's that going? It's going pretty well. Cool. That's, uh, we made it to the beginning of season two, which, by the way, 
if you've never watched The Good Place, that is one of the greatest shows I've ever seen and one of the greatest premises. It's quite entertaining. Ever. It's it's interesting and it, it, it gets your brain moving. And Ted Danson's wig is worth every penny times ten. His hair looks glorious. He... I, I describe Ted Danson as any time past the age of, like, 65, he is always the same character on television because he looks exactly the same in his new show, I Mr. Just, Mayor, that he did in The Good Place. I just feel like Ted Danson's wig looks better than my actual hair. It's it's very convincing. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, like, he's probably over the age of 80. I... I don't even know what his age is, but I would literally watch a documentary <laughs> on how Ted Danson's wig came to be. Or hair plugs, or I, 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 don't even, I don't even know what method they found, but he was balding uh, when he was like 35. Oh. So. I did not know. I, I can't imagine him without hair. That's his signature thing, like most people. So let's see. Dude says... I don't see how anyone can afford anything in New York. Yeah, like Manhattan in particular, for sure. And Dude says in regard to The Good Place, only if you're an Arizona trash bag. Uh, like, let uh, me guess, you've watched all four seasons. Yeah, Kristen, uh, what's her name? Dax Shepard's ex-wife? Yeah. Oh, are they not married anymore? Maybe they still, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're still married. They I go on be. Google a lot. Oh, you know what? I was thinking of uh, Chris Pratt and whatever his ex-wife was named. I didn't know that he was ever divorced. But yeah, I think Dex Shepard is still married to Kristen Name Lady. Yeah, please help us. Not <laughs> Kristen Wig or Stewart, because Kristen Stewart is fucking weird. Right. And Kate had said... Oh, it wasn't really anything specific, why she had a bit of a down day. Um, I, spent a I spend a lot of time alone, and I think at times that can cause me to just feel a bit down, even if I do things I enjoy. But I'm already feeling better, because good company. So, thanks, y'all. Yeah. And she says chat hugs. Happy to be of help. So, chat hugs, and, and cheers to you. You are adding richness to our day as well. Kristen Bell, dude, just put in chat. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, thank you, I dude. Always, there's so many fucking Kristens thank in, you, dude. in our entertainment. It's hard to keep track. Yeah. Who was also a very talented singer. She's, yeah, I'm surprised. She was uh, the younger sister in the, the Frozen movie. Which is the, the thing most eight-year-olds know her for. <laughs> Yeah. The and, one thing. And honestly, just what a performance. Yeah. Well, that was fantastic. She's just, everything I've seen her in, she does amazingly. Plus, she's just, you know, kind of adorable. Oh, yeah. To fucking totally. Yeah. Kirsten, Kirsten Bell, if you are watching this, please note the fact that you are adorable. <laughs> Also, Kristen Bell, if you're watching this, hit up Snoo on Instagram. <laughs> at Snoo. <laughs> you know the Instagram I don't use? Right. Oh, you have that, though. I have an Instagram, but I really don't use it because nothing I use has it. I don't have an Instagram because I cannot imagine a reason why I would want one. You don't really social media. I definitely don't. Meantime, Kate had said, oh, she actually sang in that? Yes, she totally did. And she was only outshone by, I forget the name of the woman who sang the song. Idina Menzel. Yeah, for, for Elsa. <laughs> that is in the front of my mind for some reason. Snoo was all over that. <laughs> but I mean, that woman is like literally a world class singer and, and like a Broadway performer. Yeah, she knows her shit. And Kristen Bell held her own. So. Yeah, with that kind of talent. Yeah, and she's a great comedian and, and just. A fine actress, and all props to Kristen Bell. If you want to challenge me on Frozen facts, I'll tell you everything I know, which is the name of uh, Elsa is Idina Menzel. Say it again. Uh, Idina Menzel. There you go. Spelled <laughs> I-D-I-N-A, Menzel. Wow, wow, wow. Like Mendel Washington. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> That's what we're going with. <laughs> Tell Washington. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking of someone, Denzel. Denzel Washington. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, dude says she's probably a robot. Oh no, you're thinking of Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. He is the only <laughs> robot out of this entire thing. And the nice thing about Kenny being a robot is that if anything happened to him, you could replace him with another robot. <laughs> you know? Just back that shit up on a flash drive, make another robot, and, and you got a new Kenny. Yeah. I assume <laughs> that's how that works. That's just how Kenny is. Kenny's awesome. Kenny's awesome, but he's also a robot. I wish he were here. I should have texted him before the stream, but I... You can text him right now. I don't know. He does his own thing. He's a rebel. <laughs> what a rebel he is. And out. Kate says, wow. Well, respect to, as I was calling her before, Dooge reminded me of her last name. Kristen Braun, <laughs> Blonde Lady. She totally yeah. is, yeah. Yes, she is quite blonde and also a lady as far as I'm aware. I'm surprised that she's like 40. Why is that? She doesn't, she looks 25. Because like still hot? Yeah, it's still completely fucking hot. There you go. It, it's kind of like you. Dude, I was still hot at 40, yes. I mean. Well, now, <laughs> as, now also as well. That's 11 years ago. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm trying to get back in shape despite the long COVID bullshit. And you look great. You look like you don't have long COVID. Thank you, Snoo. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, dude says, I had a customer today not buy a motherboard because they thought used motherboards can have malware. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kate, if you're not aware, that doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> That's wow. That's a new one. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> I am in, I am entertained by that. That's awesome. Yes, my toaster has a virus. Look, I would buy this computer case, but I am concerned about malware. What if they hack my case? Okay. <laughs> what if the Trojans got in my case? Why are you trying to pawn this this malware infected case off on me? <laughs> 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 My motherboard has the software COVID. <laughs> this keyboard has spyware. <laughs> so... <laughs> this keyboard... I will foil your attempt to hack my system. <laughs> this vintage keyboard is constantly spying on me. Like, they're trying to pawn it off at QVC. <laughs> wow, that is a great anecdote. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> what was the resolution of that? Yeah, that's like, I want to know. I guess that he says he... All right, he... Like, he did not buy it. For, for that ostensible reason. Apparently. And uh, Dooge also said, shit, 40's coming fast, and I haven't looked good yet. You look good, dude. You're a handsome man. Come on, man. Like, your your 20's kind of sped by you. You have, a, you have a manly beard, and a cool dog, and a loud car. <laughs> yeah, that's all the things you need to be cool, especially for an 8-year-old. You have an adorable daughter and a lovely wife. I don't know, man. That's All of that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, not quite wife yet. Whatever. As as Just it's functionally... A relationship. A wife. It's a relationship of some kind. I'm not looking to categorize his relationship. I just know what he told me. Okay. <laughs> he said he was a Mac genius. <laughs> I can understand the confusion. He met him at a genius bar. <laughs> Where everyone was drunk, going, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's what every bar in America is nowadays. And Kate says, I think my purse has some malware. <laughs> what about those new flats you purchased? <laughs> <laughs> How many teraflops does your purse have, Kate? I want to know the exact number. Her purse has 5G that also gives you COVID. 5G. It gives you COVID. It's Because <laughs> that's how reality works. Yeah, every reality you've ever heard, that's how it is. 
<laughs> Does Kate's purse have COVID? I'm just asking questions here. Right? Should we think of her as typhoid Kate? <laughs> I'm just asking questions. <laughs> typhoid like, Kate. Like, should we hang her in the town square? As a witch? Just asking questions. <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me weird? <laughs> like the things coming out of my mouth are fucking retarded or something. I, I don't get it. That's a friendly mouth hole. <laughs> oh. I used to play bass for friendly, friendly mouth, mouth hole. hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Incredibly popular. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was on board for a friendly mouth hole. <laughs> that, well, yeah. <laughs> like Game of Thrones. No matter how divisive it got, everyone watched. You have so many Game of Thrones references for someone who has never watched the show. How many Game of Thrones <laughs> references do I have? This feels like the first one. That's two or three in this stream already. Three? Yeah. In this stream? At least two. Okay, what are what are the other ones? I don't remember. I just remember hearing it. And, okay. I'm, li and I'm like, <laughs> I've never watched it either, so that doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. Guys, help me here, please. <laughs> help me. Meantime, <laughs> dude said, uh, I'm pretty sure I can fart stronger malware than that mobo had. <laughs> I believe you. you your your uh, farts are, are devastating, devastating. To, to hardware. Don't make them sound proud of just it. Just to motherboards, not to me. It's fine. Like, they don't even smell, but motherboards just shrivel up and die. <laughs> at the... At the, the... <laughs> The nose feel of his of his farts. <laughs> yes, or the 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 broom, as uh, Sean Penn said in his uh, article when he went to go meet, um, I think it was El Chapo. It was some Mexican or South American drug lord, and Sean Penn was embarrassed because he let one rip oh. r right when he met that guy. <laughs> And he really respected that the guy didn't call him out on his fart. I just, to me, that story is fucking hilarious. I just, like, thank you. <laughs> I met this guy and whoo, I just shit my pants like right then and there. And he didn't say a goddamn thing. He pretended it didn't happen and we've been BFFs forever. So. <laughs> My friendship bracelet I made out of my remaining shit from my pants. Exactly. <laughs> I scraped it out with a cat a cat shit scraper and went to town. And meantime, we get also got a wheeze and a wackle from Kate. So. Oh, I I I I also love how we're embracing the wackle. Oh, for sure. Why would we not? I I don't know, man. Because we're in favor. We totally. A subtle broom. I'm going to have to look up the exact Sean, <laughs> Sean Penn quote. You're so invested in this. <laughs> I just, it was the funniest fucking thing. Like, why is that in your article? I just, who writes an art article and goes... Man, then I really ripped one. <laughs> it was awkward as hell. And no one cared. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like, that murderous Mexican drug lord wasn't concerned. <laughs> With my fart. So I consider him a good guy. <laughs> I filled my pants with piss to the brim. And every single person that I talked to for my article said... Good looking pants. It was running down both legs. What designer did you get them from? <laughs> Everyone was staring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a new Norwegian um, design. Let's see. Okay, it, trim. it was with uh, El Chapo. Oh, good looking. Who he who he met with? The good looking out for the thing. I was complimenting El Chapo. Oh well, I hope not. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> All right, here's here's a quote from Sean Penn's journalistic triumph. Oh no. Uh he he uh let's see here. In a narrow dark passage. 
Between ours and an adjacent bungalow, <laughs> Chapo puts his arm over my shoulder and renews his request that I see him in eight days. Quote, I'll be saying goodbye now, he says. At this moment, I expel a minor traveler's flatulence. <laughs> Snooze broken. I, ex I expel a minor traveler's flatulence. And with it, I experienced the same chivalry he'd offered when putting Kate to bed. Which, I didn't even know Kate was involved with this story. But apparently, <laughs> with the same chivalry he'd offered when putting Kate to bed, as he pretends not to notice, we escape my fart's subtle broom, and I join my colleagues inside the bungalow. Compelling and rich. <laughs> that is one of the finest accounts of a fart I have ever heard. <laughs> I am deeply, deeply moved by this account of expelling flatulence. This has been Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> Poetic. He's a poet. Sean Penn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, everyone's everyone's got stories of how they ripped one in front of a drug lord from Mexico. I invite everyone to share their own. <laughs> and Kate, oh sa Kate says, minor travelers flatulence. <laughs> And yes, yes I, I was, was there. there, and it was a subtle broom. Oh. <laughs> broom, B-R-U-M-E. That's I had to look that up. I was like, the fuck is that? It's like having a moist particulate matter in the air. So credit to Sean Penn on that one. He owns a thesaurus, clearly. <laughs> but, but I just... <laughs> I've never told a story about a fart I've cut. I just, I've missed an opportunity. Snoo is far away. He's laughing. You fucking broom. You fucking small broom. A subtle broom. A subtle. It's the subtle kind of broom. I need a vacation for my vacation. Snoo's going on vacation. This is, what the Kate says cackling because WTF. <laughs> exactly. It's weird the things that authors sometimes focus on. Like, I feel like he buried the lead there. Like, I met with El Chapo and instead went with, you know, when I met with El Chapo. <laughs> I just, just as casual <laughs> sharing an ice cream with him. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> we went out for some farts the other day. <laughs> so mm. I'm gonna say Sean Penn Pulitzer oh. Prize winner uh, soon. <laughs> so <laughs> and Kate says that is one of my favorite things. <laughs> In the world. In the whole world. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> that is the... God damn it, I wish I could have told that. Uh, That's fucking incredible. Some things are still right with the world. <laughs> so we have that. <laughs> when you're talking to El Chapa. Hey, you know... <laughs> When, when you're cleaning up your dog's vomit of cat turds that he ate from the litter box, think of the subtle broom <laughs> subtle. of Sean Penn's fart in front of El Chapo. You know, that'll bring you right back down to earth. I can't get over <laughs> Into a good place. That is the best way to describe a fart or anything like it. I never would have thought... <laughs> To get that verbose about it. Like, I just, good for Sean Penn. 
It was the classiest fart I've ever read about. <laughs> this fart has met the president and got the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Before. I mean, not even a fart. Traveler's flatulence. <laughs> Was it? Everyone knows that, right? With the broom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, you know, if you go from one place to another it's place... It's traveling flatulence. It makes you fart. <laughs> so, like... He traveled, and so he had gas as a result of, of going from one place to another. Step one, don't fart. Step two, fart. Step one, stay at home, and you will never once fart. Okay? Step two, get out of the world and start farting. Holy, holy shit. Wait, no, I mean holy fart. Yes. That... that. All right, so Sean Penn. I don't think we can do much better yeah, than that. I don't, I, we have to end on this. Yeah, we should we should wrap up. So I'm going to take a leak. Call, right. call him for final thoughts. They're, they are welcome to be fart related, <laughs> especially if it's a personal account. <laughs> and you describe it with the words broom and travel. Yeah, <laughs> and it involves you ripping one while meeting a Mexican drug lord. <laughs> All accounts like that are welcome. So I'm just going to come back and enjoy. <laughs> Kate, 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 they, uh, I don't think we can do much better than that. We may have reached our peak, but like, I have to sit with this. <laughs> Broom! <laughs> Traveling! And you start just. <laughs> Did he mention if it was audible? Oh, I hope he did. That. <laughs> I wish. The, my one other wish in life is that <laughs> he described how loud it was in decibels. <laughs> it was precisely a negative 10 decibel fart. As it moved from the smooth broom of my stomach. I... <laughs> okay. Did he mention how loud it was? What's that? Did he mention its volume? It was subtle. <laughs> So I assume that means it was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to describe in detail. I just want to know what Sean Penn's expectation was. <laughs> like El Chapo was going to be speaking in the voice of insult comic dog. <laughs> Did you just cut one in my home? Have this man kill. Have him keel hauled. How dare you, sir? <laughs> You have disgraced my home with your subtle broom. <laughs> I will never not laugh at that. I know. I mean, Sean Penn helped me learn a new word, so good on you, buddy. <laughs> you could take this moment to switch us back yeah. to... Yeah. If I stop laughing, we'll see. Fucking... I just, wow. So much. So much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Sean Penn is so much deeper than we ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> That's my version of deep. Yep. If your farts are subtle. <laughs> and broomy. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling because of it. A known thing. <laughs> All of my farts from now on <laughs> will be subtle because of traveling and have a wide range as of a broom. Like, if Snoo cuts a fart, I'm going to be like, wow, where did you just travel from? <laughs> Clearly, you must have traveled to here before cutting that <laughs> fart.
<laughs> because farts just don't happen if you stay in your house. Yeah, that, that's why all houses smell good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Kate's final thoughts are, thank you for making me not only smile, but laugh so hard I was worried I would create the need for a noise complaint. <laughs> Hooray. Well, your neighbors have it coming, as I understand oh, it. Yes, they that do. would just be fair. And she says, uh, it was exactly what I needed. Chat hugs to y'all and to Sean Penn for the lols and the good company. Well, less you, Sean Penn, for the company. <laughs> Fuck him. He wasn't there. Yeah, he, he didn't see it. But we agree with all of that. I, I swear I'm going to look up more articles. From like, Sean yeah. Penn? <laughs> I don't know. That's the only gem I know of. <laughs> well, there's got to be more. There could be more hidden ones. The uh, man describes farts as brooms yeah. and subtle. <laughs> and traveling. He's a gem in himself. The subtle, enticing aroma. <laughs> Of my gas exhalation. Enticing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he just did a bean burrito from Taco Bell. <laughs> right? Like, I traveled to Taco Bell. <laughs> and after that journey, somehow I ended up farting. It was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> this occurrence was not planned like most of my other farts. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like I'm going to use Traveler's Flatulence Yeah uh, You know If I ever hear dudes uh, Cut one I'll know what's up <laughs> You know You've tra- It seems you've traveled from a long distance No he traveled You know Probably to our house You know A long distance <laughs> And on the way you, you build up gas pressure In your abdomen And <laughs> we you arrive at your destination and you have to expel it. So, <laughs> can you make a fart sound? Can I? Yes, please do it. I, why don't you do the armpit thing? I can't do the armpit thing. I don't know if I can still do that or not. Okay. My armpits are hairy. When I was young, they weren't. Yeah, no, it's it's just it's not gonna happen. Okay, whatever. There's not a seal. All right, pretend this is dude. <laughs> Would you like a brew? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Small one. So this has been <laughs> shovel. shovel night, I guess, or Sean Penn hour <laughs> with Snoo and Da and Kate and Dooge. Oh, so um, <laughs> you need to find more of these in any capacity. They don't have to be Sean Penn. I well, but I'll let you know when I find them <laughs> when I run across them. Out. Dude says night, guys. Good night to you, sir. Oh. Hopefully, no more cleaning is uh, in the cards for you tonight and. We will see you again soon. So uh, perhaps tomorrow night. But um, anyway, this has been Snoo and Die Live with Shovel Knight 2. He's been Snoo and I've been Sean Penn. We've all been Sean Penn. <laughs> we, we all really get the Sean Penn experience. Good night, everybody. Good night.